Hey, welcome back to Sober Now. I'm Jim LaPierre. Today I want to talk about learning how to just be. One of the very best addictions counselors that I've ever worked with had a homework assignment that she would give to people in early recovery. She would say, just go home and just sit for five minutes. Try not to focus your thoughts on anything. Try your very best to just be. And that homework assignment is very easy to understand. And for people who are really anxious, people who are struggling on really on any front, it's really hard to do. We are human doers. We find it hard to just be. We tend to attach our productivity as a measure of our worth. We tend to be very focused on doing for others. And I struggled with that myself for decades. Uh, it's a product of my upbringing. I was taught that it is uh, an expression of love to constantly do for people that we care about. Uh, I learned always to make myself my lowest priority, and I really only ever allowed myself to relax or have fun after everything was done, all the work that could possibly be done uh, in my career, in my home, attending to my children, all of those things had to feel like they were in a very good place before I could relax. Which, when you're raising children or working two jobs or doing too much of anything, really isn't possible. What I've learned about myself is that I can increasingly enjoy brief periods of solitude. I like me, but that's been about 25 years in the making. I have come to a place where I'm always uh, fair and respectful to myself, and I like myself. I don't really see self-love as more than an ideal, something that we strive towards. But I've learned that I can enjoy brief periods of solitude. I can enjoy even a few hours of just time alone. And after that, I get pretty squirrely pretty fast. I crave company. I don't do well with loneliness, and what I've learned over and over and over again is that when I keep myself surrounded by kindred spirits, I get to do so much more cool shit, and I get to have a lot more fun. And as simple as that is, it took me a long time to learn. Sometimes I catch myself having my inner critic nag at me that I'm not doing enough, uh, if I'm just taking a lazy Sunday or just really just resting. Uh, I always find myself more oriented towards creating something, uh, creating something, and so allowing myself more and more time to just rest and do very simple things that I enjoy a lot, whether it's listening to great music, reading good books, watching uh, a really great movie. These are things that are good for me, and most of the things that I enjoy I always find the experience is heightened when I when it's a shared experience, when I'm hanging out with friends and family. Uh, things are so much more enjoyable to me. But I have, through the course of this pandemic, I've, I've come to have a greater awareness of self. And what I've learned is that for as much as I love the company of others, I also want to really enjoy more fully uh, the time that I spend just with me. So I'm making that a priority and uh, noticing, that, again, those nagging thoughts, those expectations of myself, and I'm aligning them with what's going on in my life today, with what my needs are, with what it is that I most want. And I'm taking those opportunities to be introspective and to have a greater awareness of what's missing, what needs to be added, and all of this promotes my self-care. And as I take better care of me, of course, what I have to offer to others is far greater. So that's some stuff that's working for me. I'd love to hear what's working for you. I'd also love to hear questions that you have uh, or topics that you'd like to see covered in future videos. Please connect with me. Jim at SoberNow.com is the easiest way to reach me. Please give a, a quick like to this video and maybe a share so that we can expand this conversation with friends and family. And if you haven't already, please head over to YouTube. Check out Sober Now's uh, YouTube channel. Over a hundred videos now of different topics relating to recovery. And uh, subscribing there will get you a weekly notification, just letting you know that we've put up another vlog and a whole lot of really great free content. So please continue to take excellent care of you. Reach out to me if I can be helpful and check out our site, SoberNow.com. Blessed be.